Hello everybody and today we're going to be doing another video. In today's video we're just going to be talking about, you know, the new licensed Street Halloween arm trucks that got released or announced. Uh, there's no pictures of them yet. There, uh, as of me filming this video, it's just been announced like the names of them and I'm really excited to talk about them. Uh, especially one that catched my eye and I have been wanting for a while and finally happened. So I will be talking about the unlicensed props in another video because there's just so many and I have to go watch Into Violent Nature in a second. Uh, so I'm just going to do the licensed props for now and I'll do the unlicensed ones either the next video or the video after because next video I do kind of want to play uh, Indigo Park which because I uh, have been seeing a lot of stuff about that game recently. I don't know if it's good. But I might as well play. All the animatronic names got released uh, this year for Spear Halloween. And they seem pretty cool, but I'm just going to go over the licensed ones because there's specifically one that catch my eye. But all of them sound pretty cool. It's mostly like slashers and stuff this year, it seems like. Uh, so I'm going to start with the first one. Art the Clown. Uh, so Art the Clown is already being made by uh, Party City. So I'm guessing we're getting two of Art the Clown this year it seems like uh and i do hope this one's pretty good because uh the party city one kind of disappointed me because it doesn't really look like the actor so hopefully spear halloween can get the actor's face and stuff like that so it looks like him you know because uh the party city one doesn't really look that great in my opinion uh because like the clothes look like a different color and stuff it just looks weird i think the I hope the Spear Halloween one is better. The next one, uh, I believe, was Ghostface. I think Ghostface was the next listed one. Uh, we have not gotten a Ghostface prop in a lot. Well, yeah, we got one a couple years ago, but it was not great. It was terrible. Uh, but we never gotten like a Scream-based Ghostface, and I do hope this is one of th those ones. Uh, like like the old one where you pick up the phone and then, like it turns on and stuff. Like that was a cool premise. I hope they add something like that. Uh, for this one, like a remake of it, uh, because there was a little bit of stuff I did not like about that Ghostface, like how the body was so blocky and stuff, and I do hope they, you know, can improve on that, uh, because that'd be cool. Ghostface coming back this year, and hopefully it's a good Ghostface and not that weird, skinny, hauntress reskin. The next prop was Michael Myers. Uh, so, the thing about Michael Myers, um, Michael Myers, like, has not been getting good props at all. Um, I don't think he ever had a good prop besides the Rob Zombie one. Even then, I didn't really like that one. It was, like, too short. Uh, none of them have been, like, good. Like, the, they never got the masks right. And the audio seems to be fine on some of them. Besides the Jemmy one, let's not talk about that. Besides that, none of them have been that, you know, great. Like, the recent Spirit one, the H2O one. That one was absolutely horrendous, and I do hope this one's good, and I hope it's based on the H1 Michael Myers, and not, a like, the freaking H2O and stuff like that. Just make it based on the original, or at least make it 2018, and make it look good. Make the mask actually good. Because I absolutely love Michael Myers, and just seeing it, those, those terrible things, and there's a lot of bad things with Michael Myers. Um, there's a lot of terrible masks and stuff, but oh my god, the animatronics are always terrible, usually. Uh, the only one I remember not being that bad was the Party City one from last year, and it was still not perfect, but the mask looked better than most of the other ones out there. Next one is my most anticipated one, Emily and Victor. Uh, so I know some people might not know what Emily and Victor is. Um, I'm just gonna give, I'm just gonna basically say two words that will immediately refresh your mind corpse bride uh it's the tim burton movie uh with johnny depp and i forgot the girl's name um it's a fantastic claymation movie i absolutely love claymation and i love tim burton he's one he's probably my my like most inspired director like i'm very inspired by his work when i draw i usually draw on tim burton so this one really excited me and i do hope it looks really good because uh I absolutely love Corpse Bride, and it says Emily and Victor, so I'm guessing both of them are going to be in one animatronic. I'm thinking, like, something in the poster where, like, they're holding hands and stuff like that. I'm thinking something like that, maybe, for this prop, or they're just going to sell both of them separately. So, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with that. Either way, if they sell them both separately, I'm buying both of them. Uh, maybe. It depends on the price. I hope they are not too expensive. I doubt that, though. I bet they're going to be, like, 400 bucks or something like that. 
Uh, but yeah, I am really excited to see those because I absolutely love Corpse Bride and uh, Victor and Emily are like two that I always wanted animatronics of, especially Emily, because that's obviously the Corpse Bride. I always wanted the animatronic of them. I asked, uh, not asked, but like suggested it a lot. Uh, like, not like suggested, but like, you know, like when I'm in like live streams of, for other you know, haunters, I usually say, like, oh, I want Emily and Victor as an animatronic, or I want Hatbox Ghost as an animatronic, or, like, a Gremlin as an animatronic. A Gremlin would be so freaking cool, and I'm so freaking excited to see it, and hopefully it looks good. That's all I had to say about this video. Uh, seems like a pretty decent lineup, I would say, and I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. So, yeah, see you guys later.